It seems as though people aren't the only ones returning to glamour. It's also going to the dogs. York's poshest puppy spot. Come see what's hot for the pooch that has it all. There's been a return to glamour with people and their fashions, and I definitely think there's a tremendous, you know, return to glamour with pet fashions, and especially in a store like this. Being with the store is called Parents for People and Pets, there's a reason for that. We do things to match for the pet and the owner. I personally am inspired by the different fashion designers that I really like personally, and that is how I end up putting together my line of clothes. We did some Chanel tweed coats, some um, Chanel-inspired sweaters, and then we did a lot of fun things. We did plaids, southwesterns, um, fair isle, tweeds, argyles, a lot of soft wonderful things. Racy's wearing a little gray tweed plaid coat with a camel's hair collar. And we also have other plaids, and then we do great rain wear. But style isn't everything. These outfits protect precious pets from the elements. body temperature will drop and they'll shiver. So if you see them doing that, it's because they're cold, not just because they're afraid. If you do a lined raincoat like this is for fall, and we do, you know, Chanel inspired with the buttons and the pockets, and then it has very heavy pile lining. It keeps them warm and dry. All the things in this store and all the toys and all the wonderful products that we have is for the glamorous pet. We have an exclusive with Robert Lee Morris. We helped him put together his pet um, accessory line, which includes a few different style collars, leashes, and so that's an exclusive for this store. It's a pet store in New York. We have Kensington and Worth, and for an exclusive from him, we do Spectators, Lizard, Alligator, and Ostrich, which is exclusive to this store, and then we have those other beautiful leather goods. We're big on pearl necklaces here. We've been doing that for a long time, and we make beads and other things, and we're doing a silver and gold ID this year, but people love pearls here. She's such a silly dog. She's so cute. Josh, can we go swimming? <laughs> People come in and they let their dog run through the store to see the things that it wants because it's like everything that, uh, you know, a puppy or an older dog would want to have. He basically is so excited because there's bones and there's cookies and there's all these things that he just loves to get to. And then there's squeak toys in an accessible, you know, doggy um, box. But the owner is more excited because he can get everything that he wants for his dog. I've met many people that live through their pets, things that they wouldn't do for themselves or don't feel they can, or maybe they don't even feel they deserve, but they feel they can give it all to their pet. We've been able to make the dogs feel wonderful, beautiful, and glamorous all the time, and there's no reason if the people can do it for themselves why the pets can't do it too. Putting on the dog, because glamour is back from video fashion.